What's going on, y'all? I hope you're all well, and welcome back to Alan Wake. I finally remembered to look it up. The crackhead shadow thing I was talking about that looks like Colin Farrell, that is the gentleman. If you Google Colin Farrell, the gentleman, you will see what I was talking about. He dresses and looks almost exactly like the one I've been calling like a crackhead uh, shadow. It's very similar. Get our ass to the Wilderland Room. Rule 2. Keep the lights on. Yeah, I st I'm still taking that uh, the whole clicker thing to my future parenthood. <laughs> I'm going to use that on my kids if they end up scared of the dark. Who designs these things? And that's what happens when you use technology from like the 1930s. Oh shit. The transmitter will be dark and dark. Weaver's water pipe passage should now be confirmed. I'm surprised I didn't get attacked while I was trying to cross those by like pigeons or something. Oh, pistol ammo, that's not good. Hey, you asshole, where you at? Here's chainsaw. Suck on this. Seppuku on the fucking electrical pipes. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Today is the day of the Logan Paul fight, which I'm sure nobody who actually cares about fighting gives a shit about. But <laughs> date the episode. That is what's going on today. This way. Empty now. We're ready to go. The one thing I like about that situation, with that fight with Logan Paul and Dylan Dennis, is that I don't have to give a shit who wins. It's a win-win for me, because I hate both of them, and I want them both to get knocked out, so... <laughs> Whichever one gets smoked is a W for me. The only way I lose is if it's just like a dog shit fight. And then Tom started riding and woke the darkness up. He tried to bring her back, but... You can't do that. There are no free rides like that. I'm starting to realize that. In that case, young man, perhaps you're a smarter man than Tom was. The witch looked like her, but it wasn't. Barbara was sweet. He didn't understand until it was too late. He tried to undo it, wrote himself, her, everything he'd ever written out of the world. Oh, he was so famous. And afterwards, no one knew. No, oh, Tom. He left only one thing behind in my game, in case it happened again. Insurance. He trusted me, or perhaps used me a little. Tom knew how I felt, knew I wouldn't refuse him. I built the well-lit room and put it there. Unfortunately, the answer to that question is probably both. Trapped in a story you have written, and none of us will survive to see the end of it if the 
Dauntless isn't stopped, she'll twist the story. He probably trusted her, but also used the shit out of her. How do you know all this? Tom, that's the way he wrote it. He still talks to me, you know, in television, from beyond, from below. We have both been touched by the darkness, young man. He saved us both with light, but the darkness stays with you. You sustain. This pipe will take us directly to the well-lit room. Okay, I need to call my friends, tell them where we're going. Hello? Ow! Barry, we're headed to the dam in one of the pipes. Meet us there. Okay, I'll tell Sarah. It's Sarah now? Whoa, no! I'm glad to see that getting along. Barry! Barry! We gotta go see if they're okay. They're probably dead. You must reach the well-lit room. This is no time to be a selfish idiot. That's my best friend. Not a boy. I like that. That's loyalty right there. Well, be a fool. However, do not like that. That doesn't look good. I will make it. Deal before I'm trying to stick a lamp up this bitch's ass like uh, in Darkness Falls. She knew how to stay safe. A fallen helicopter. Sarah was almost starting to relax. Maybe they could turn this into a win yet. Suddenly, there was a piercing sound like a table saw gone wild. As a hundred birds made out of shadows swarmed into the rotor, the chopper bucked wildly and the board lit up, telling her what she already knew. They were going down. Barry Wheeler screamed next to her. <laughs> I'm sure he did. It's fine, he has the, uh, what is it? The flaming eye of Moto. <laughs> Should be fine. There'd be more on point with the searchlight. The thing had a giant light on it. You're gonna be more on point with the light. This enemy is actually obnoxious. Well, we're less. Dramatic on the revolver ammo now. Probably almost just walked off the cliff. Gravity deaths on my watch. Barry! Sheriff Breaker! Sarah! This actually doesn't look that bad of course. Bad, but as far as I could tell, the wreck was empty. No, yeah, that doesn't look how I thought it would look. It doesn't look fun, but it doesn't look like zero chance anybody got out. But the trail of flare breadcrumbs looks pretty good too. Um, Barry, Barry, oh! Over here! Oh! hang in there. I'm coming. Get the hell out of here, freaks.
the Shmee. There we go. You know when to make an entrance, Wake. We were ready to make like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. I have a different ending in mind. Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I knew you'd be all right. How's that? The flaming eye of Mordor? <laughs> Thanks. Didn't we have somewhere to go? Weaver will meet us at the dam. So this cash being here, does this mean that she knew that I would go against what she wanted and come try and save her? Or did she just like spam him across the land? She tried to convince me not to come here, but I guess maybe she read Zane's pages and knew I would, or just random chance. Yeah, I think about shit like that. <laughs> it probably means nothing. It's probably just like a developer thing, they wanted more supplies. Bunch of demon hicks try to take your head off with that. <laughs> demon hicks. You know your helicopter crash landed in uh, night spring. In night spring. <laughs> please, do, 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 do. please tell me we don't have to move from here. <laughs> There's a little more of a hill to go yet, Barry. I'm sorry. Oh, should have. I should have kept See that those gym lights? membership. That's the elevator we need to take. It sounds like the fun is just getting started. Uh, four flash outs. What the hell is that thing? It's everywhere! No, but it's gone now. <laughs> oh crap, there's more than one of them! Nothing moves like that, it's impossible! Ah! Ow! Do something! Yeah, it's Colin Farrell. Was that it? Are we safe? That was. Wow, I think we're okay. Yeah, this top hey, tier display usage. Feeling. Let's keep our eyes open. Three left. Oh, I hate. I hate running. <laughs> you only hate running because you don't run, Wait, Barry. Call the elevator. I'm keeping watch. I hear something. You ran more. You'd feel amazing. Gotta get you on like a exercise bike or some shit when we get back to New York. Never know when you could have to fight Demon Hicks. <laughs> Heads up! Here they come! Oh no! Oh no! Relax, Barry. See? Nothing to worry about. They're coming! We have to hold them off! It's Barry. You got in the elevator first, hmm? Why don't you hit the button? We're almost there. There's an entrance into the dam at the top. What's the plan, Wake? Well, Weaver's crazy, but she's got something Zane left behind. Something to fix this. Gee, could you be a little more vague? Thomas, Zane? Yeah, you tried to Seriously? cipher in pages from a dead Might author. Well be Paul Bunyan or Bigfoot. Yeah, well, he was real. It ain't easy, Barry. Like cracking the Da Vinci code. Oh, geez, I hate 
escape this. Okay, wait. There's a button over there that opens the door. I think something's broken. Hold the button down so we can get in. Well, I ain't getting in if I have to hold it. Ah. <laughs> what? You guys go ahead and find Weaver. She should be in the dam now. I'll have to make it alone through the top. Okay, wait. Good luck. Don't get yourself killed. Ow. Please be careful. I'll take good care of Barry, Wake. You just look after yourself. All right. I believe that. I think he's safe with her. You gotta be kidding. Pretty about that shit. Seems like she gets it. Zane's shoebox. Thomas Zane knew he had to remove all that had made this horror possible, including himself. That was the only way to banish the dark presence he had unleashed and now looked at him through the eyes of his dead love. But he also knew that despite his best efforts, it might someday return. So even as he wrote himself and his work out of existence, he added a loophole as insurance, an exception to the rule. Anything of his stored in the shoebox would remain. That's pretty cool. It's also trippy that you were like taking yourself out of existence, basically. I don't imagine that process. That's some champ shit only right there. Put his ass on the line for the greater good, you gotta respect that. That is like the only enemy in this game that like pisses me off. See loot. Vision can be a hobby or a job. Oh, let's deal with these first. You say. Sit there and take that. Oh, I'm happy to oblige. stuff you get the more I know I'm on the right track so I will continue on yeah okay, it's time to go we took risks with that but I wanted the shit let those get the fuck out of here hopefully we didn't just die for the uh, flush wings
saved it. <laughs> okay. You good, you got it. Okay, we would have totally died from that. That should have killed my ass. Easy. Never doubted it for a second. Apart from when I almost yeared myself into the chasm. You made it. Well done. I'm glad I was wrong. But it was a foolish chance to take. Don't worry about the noise. We're safe here. I have looked after the well-lit room for many, many years now. There is no shadow in the well-lit room. The power is fail-safe, and all the bulbs are numbered and changed regularly based on their make and model. Right. Someone's a skeptic. There's an old army base at Raid Cove Point, north of here. It was active during the Second World War. It's pretty they sad that she's just been here for they sixty years. Them. Yes, they obsessively did. changing light bulbs and shit. For a man that it seems didn't love her back. <laughs> it's so fucked when you like break it down. Take it, and I won't need to worry about the room anymore. Because 6 and 33 and 118 need changing soon, and I don't want to climb up the ladder to change them because it's very late and I'm tired. And if you take it, I won't have to do that anymore. The page was autobiographical, a memory from my childhood. But I didn't write this. It was a page written by Thomas Zane. None of them were supposed to exist anymore. Alan, seven years old, would fight sleep to the bitter end. When he did sleep, he soon woke up, screaming, the nightmares fresh in his mind. One evening, his mother, sitting by his bed, offered him an old light switch. She called it the clicker and flicking the switch would turn on a magical light that would drive the beast away. To imbue the talisman with all possible power, she added that it had been given to her by Alan's father. Alan never knew him, and anything of his took on mythical proportions in his mind. With the clicker firmly in his hand, Alan finally slept like a baby. Now, almost 30 years later, Alan thought of this. As he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, the clicker in his hand, he took a deep breath, and jumped. My mind swirled. I'd given the clicker to Alice, yet it was here. That's pretty Zane cool. had written it into existence in a story I had written. They set that clicker up forever ago, too. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Story Ryan W. Previously on Alan Wake, I wrote a horror story that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same in the 70s. You will go no further. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story. No one will survive. You knew Zane! Thomas Zane! You're the Lady of the Light in the song! He left something behind to help me. The clicker. Alan thought of this as he stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake. The clicker in his hand. He took a deep breath and jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. Episode 6, Departure. was about to explode and the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers to dull the pain. In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to be a wrap for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe, leave a like and a comment. If you want to support the cause and help improve the channel, please check out the links in the description below. Otherwise, stay tuned and I'll see you all soon with more Alan Wake. Have a good day guys, take care.